All right, I'm back. <laughs> we got some single hill uh, in collaboration or utilizing Yakima Chief hops. This one is coming in at 6.2 ABV, and this one is called Looking Fresh. Right there. Looks like a gorilla with a beanie and some shades on. Not sure what's going on in the background, really. Looks like maybe just some hops or whatever kind of hiding in the background there. Out of Single Hill, Yakima, Washington. And these are fresh mosaic and citra hops. Um, in, out. So, flash frozen 2022 mosaic and citra hops. And then 2023... Nelson Savin and Nectaron Cryo right there on the bottom for you guys. Let's go ahead and crack this single hill out of my city, Yakima, Washington. Where I put my glass. Let's go ahead and pour this up right here. We have one of these good old can shaped glass. I don't know if they have a specific name or not, but I do like these glass. They're pretty popular. All right, and there is a look at the beer. You can see the nice hop fields on the on the front there. This one on my side is kind of a bright yellow haze, um, not overly opaque, but definitely hazy. About two fingers of bright white head. A little bit of citrus, a little bit of pine coming off of there. Cheers. That's good. A nice medium bitterness. A nice bright, kind of like a lemon, like a lemon lime type thing going on. Um, and a little bit of pine on the aftertaste. A little bit juicy, about medium bitterness. Really good. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into it for today's shave. I was kind of talking to Marion on his latest video. I commented and I told him I, I have an idea for something fun. Or I shouldn't say it might be fun for some. It might not be fun for others. But um, for the straight razor month, I wanted to kind of do this challenge, if you will. A lot of people crutch on their gear these days and in the past. Um, they... You know, they want to use the most forgiving razors um, and the most expensive soap. And then, in turn, when they use something that isn't their favorite products and they end up having bad shaves, they blame it on the hardware. And just like a craftsman blames his tools, you know... A, a shaver should also not blame their tools, you know. I think I kind of botched that a little bit, but you get what I'm saying. Like, a bad craftsman blames his tools, and a bad shaver blames his tools. Um, so, that's what I'm kind of getting at. I, I, the challenge is kind of use a shitty soap or, you know, a soap that isn't your best most you know forgiving soap base and get a straight razor shave in with it shouldn't be too hard right today i'm using williams mug soap which has quite a shitty reputation from the modern shaver uh, a lot of the old school guys, they have a lot of respect for Williams. They, you know, they used it for a long time, maybe even be finding, before finding wet shaving, and then subsequently after finding wet shaving. But it has a pretty bad rap. It's a pretty fucking average soap. So that's what I chose for today's uh, shave soap. Um, however, I did use my Trotter Handcrafts brush. Beautiful blue, black, and smoky gray with a T1 badger knot on top. I got my 
Lancaster razor work shave bowl right there a staple of my daily shaves and we're gonna be getting a shave in with this gold dollar right here which was honed up by Thomas the shaver it has those faux wood scales and a round point perfect for beginners Thomas sells these and hones them himself so shout out to Thomas for gifting that to me and five minutes ago when I made this lather it looked pretty shitty um, five minutes went by and it already kind of dissipated a little bit I'm just gonna dunk the tips of my brush and kind of reconstitute it with a little bit of water there's still plenty of volume there but it's a really it's a really thin airy lather um, with a lot of volume but no real density you can kind of see the uh, the bubbles throughout that's what we're using today I don't know if you've ever used uh, Williams but ask around it's nobody's favorite so <laughs> it doesn't have a great reputation I think it's like two bucks at the uh, at the supermarket they still sell the damn thing in certain places but it ain't worth <laughs> you know there, there's so much better shit for just a, a few bucks more I, I don't know how it sells all right let's let's get into this fucking shitty lather here <laughs> I think it'll be more obvious once we get it on the face like you can kind of just see the skin right through it I'm trying to uh there's no reason to really put like a huge voluminous amount on the face because that volume doesn't really have any density to it just because I put a whole bunch of volume doesn't mean that it's going to equate to any luxury whatsoever it's so thin you can hardly tell it's there and I'm almost just I'm almost just painting it on it just has a very simple basic you know low-level scent inoffensive but nothing to write home about anyways even though I'm using Williams I'm not really worried about the turnout of this shave um, I don't blame the soap I don't blame the razor you know unless yeah, if you let the edge go bad then you can blame the razor but if you got a good edge on it then there's no reason why you should be blaming the razor the whole point of this challenge is not to make anybody look bad or or um, you know show who has refined straight razor skills and who doesn't the whole point is for you to look at you when you get a bad shave you know blame the person in the mirror not the tools that you're using let's get into it look at that thin lather just dissipating as the seconds go by now I won't sit here and say that Williams is without slickness because that would be a lie. Williams does have slickness. It's nothing to write home about. And my beard damn near damn near ate all that lather off my neck, but we're just going with what's there. Anyways, and there's one huge blemish that I'm going to try to avoid right there. I got a good shave yesterday by avoiding it. I'm going to go right up to it and then kind of work my way around it. Um, anyways, Williams does have slickness. It's nothing crazy, nothing to write home about, but it does have slickness. I mean... doesn't have real density for those of you that kind of um, believe that the density of your soap is protecting you from a highly keen razor blade um, 
Still can't wrap my head around that one, how people believe that. But I don't believe that the density is protection. It adds a nice, luxurious quality to the soap that I really appreciate and I prefer. But I do not believe a dense soap is a protective soap. <clears throat> what I believe helps you get a nice shave Assuming your razor is sharp. Number one, and most importantly, is good technique. <clears throat> that doesn't come overnight. That's something you got to put time into. Something that, you know, you got you to gotta keep at. Because even if you were good at one point, you can you can lose a step so you got to stick with it in order to stay you know to keep your skills honed no pun intended let's go ahead and same thing it's kind of getting really airy bubbly I'm gonna dip the tips and just kind of incorporate I'm not putting any pressure or splaying the brush I'm just trying to incorporate some moisture back into that collapsed lather <clears throat> and if you think I just suck at, at lathering Williams, I mean, I invite you to go get your own $2 puck from the store and see what kind of quality lather you can make with it. Good luck. Load heavy. Um, but yeah, it, number one is technique. That's the most important thing. Look at yourself. What can you improve on? You know what I mean? What, if you're struggling, what could you possibly be doing wrong? Are you putting too much pressure? Are your, is your angle um, too far out? You know, not is your angle not shallow enough? I don't know what you would call that. The opposite of shallow, like obtuse or something, I don't know. Um, is your grip a little bit wonky, making you, making your strokes not exactly confident? You know, there, there's a number of things that could be going wrong. Are you, are you stretching your skin? You know what I mean? So, Just reflect. If you're having a bad shave, before you go saying that an artisan's products are, are shitty, or you completely write an artisan off, I'll never buy them again because I got a bad shave while using that soap. It might be worth considering. It might be worth considering if you, you know, you might have just had a bat an off day, or you might have, you know, something that you did that day, while during that shave was off. You know what I mean? Before you write off. An artisan that put a lot of work into their products that they offer. Not too shabby. Nope. See a little. 
dollop of blood right there in the Adam's apple. Try to uh, avoid that sucker right there. All right, almost got it. And I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely at each with each shave that I do with the straight razor kind of getting back that confidence I don't think I'm there yet you know because I really wasn't straight razor shaving for I mean not consistently for six months at least maybe more time flies when you take a shaving hiatus all right let's go ahead and wet the face it's like you got a little weeper there too so I'm definitely not I'm definitely not back to my original glory, but I'm not, I'm not blaming the soap. Certainly not blaming the razor because the edge felt, felt great. Excuse me. Just had dinner. An amazing dinner, by the way. <clears throat> um, but yeah, you know, even if I didn't have the perfect shave right here. I'm not blaming my tools. And I actually ended up with pretty damn close shape. I will say, I might just be one notch off from BBS. I did feel a little, just a little stubble there, but not too shabby. Lancaster black sheep towel. <clears throat> Absolutely a pleasure to use that after each shave. Very plush, very soft. So definitely, if you guys are interested, grab one of your shittier soaps or the soaps that you don't think too highly of, you know what I mean? Especially if you haven't used them in a long time and your technique has probably gotten better. Pick up one of those old soaps. lather it up and um, try to get a decent straight razor shave out of it and just see how you know your perception of that soap might make you lean into your technique especially <laughs> especially if you're if you're scared of shaving with that soap, see how it will make you try to lean into your technique. And if you're not scared of the soap, just try to focus. Try to focus more on your technique and see if that changes things. And if you're having problems, especially, try to reflect. What was I doing? Slow it down. Slow it down. Make time for your shave and really think about the steps. Grab your razor, look at your grip. Does it feel comfortable? Do you feel confident with that grip? When you bring it to you, when you bring the razor to your face, be mindful of the angle. <clears throat> when you're taking strokes, make sure you're using light pressure. There's no need for any excessive pressure. You're gonna be using some. Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post-Shave Balm. Haven't used this in a long time either, but it is really good stuff for uh, being easily accessible. Damn. It's a pretty lightweight lotion. It comes out 
rather quickly, so keep that in mind. Go ahead and smear it around. So hopefully some of these uh, tips helped you. This conversation helped you. Hopefully you kind of took it to heart and really just considered what I'm saying. Definitely not trying to uh, make anybody look bad whatsoever, but I just thought it would be fun to kind of challenge ourselves during our straight razor month here. So, and that feels real nice after a shave. Real low level menthol. Really soothing, instantly soothing. Makes your skin nice and soft and supple. That is good stuff. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you guys uh, take this challenge and uh, excel out there with your technique. Cheers, and I'll catch you on the next one.